Mighty CNC Machine, awaken! Hey fellow creators, welcome to Joel Creates. Today we're going to be messing around with a random idea that I got, which is to use my CNC machine as a fancy slide for time lapses. The first thing I want to try and do though is improve the audio quality just on my phone as cheaply as possible. So I glued some foam to this piece of cardboard and I'm going to just tuck it right behind the phone so that we get a little bit of directionality and a little blockage of everything else but the direction I'm speaking from. We'll see if that helps. The way that a time lapse works, a camera is set to take a picture at a given interval or amount of time. The length of this interval between each shot depends entirely upon the subject matter that you're trying to take a time lapse of. For instance, if you wanted to take a time lapse of an engraving on my CNC machine that's relatively small, you'd probably be taking a picture every few seconds because it doesn't take that long, maybe an hour max for whatever I'm engraving. If you wanted to take a time lapse of a full rotation of the Earth, your camera pointed into the sky so you can see the stars whizzing overhead at high speed. In this case, you'd probably take a picture every few minutes. If you wanted to have a time lapse of a plant growing over a week, you might take a picture every hour or two or... Thankfully, the iPhone seems to automatically set the interval based on how long you're recording. I set my camera right here. The first time lapse I did was just of me cleaning up my shop a bit with it just running along the x-axis. And this looked surprisingly very cool. I wanted to mess around with more than just one axis. If we could tilt the camera to follow a specific subject, that could be pretty cool. So hey, let's see, let's see what we can rig up. At this point, I've taken a spring-loaded clamp and I've clamped it on to the z-axis where the junction is. So now when I turn the z-axis very slowly, I can not only track the camera, but I can also pan it. Here's the iPhone clamped onto the Z-axis. It's got a little battery pack because its battery is terrible, but we're gonna go ahead and run it and see how it does. footage looked pretty amazing, didn't it? The funny thing is, I was just wiping down my desk and uh, attaching a couple wires to a power supply and checking the voltage. I think I may have just turned my CNC machine into the biggest time-lapse slider there is. Maybe not. I'm sure someone's done bigger, but especially for such a small space, it's super overkill. I'm definitely going to be using some of these shots going forward, and I think that you guys will definitely appreciate it. I can't wait to have a really big, complex build and be able to track it with the CNC machine in the background, doing a time-lapse as I'm putting it together over a series of hours. I hope you'll stick around to see that. Consider subscribing. Hope you enjoy the music. I'll see you next time.